All right, so I want to, you know, sort of critique this video by Jason A. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Jason A, but, uh, you know, sometimes he has some interesting stuff, but essentially what he does is he takes news clips and uh, pertaining to one particular idea, one particular thought, what have you, and... Um, and uh, you know just tries to make a point I guess but let's listen to uh, what these guys are saying all right listen to this story Chinese researchers believe the earth's inner core may have reversed its rotation just follow along here researchers analyze seismic waves created by earthquakes as they pass through the planet along similar paths since the 1960s and they found the inner core's rotation stopped between 2009 and 2020, and may have even reversed. Just in case, you, you see these clouds. Shouldn't they be moving wildly? Their course rotation stop. They're not. It's like the Earth is spinning, but the clouds aren't moving at all. I'm not sure that's real. Between 2009 and 2020, and may have even reversed direction. The researchers believe such a reversal generally takes place every seven decades, give or take. One expert not involved in the study notes that some scientists theorize that the inner core changes its rotation at shorter levels. You really felt like something was shifting under your feet? It was. <laughs> researchers say we're likely... A study, Earth's inner core has stopped. All right, so... We're going to listen to what these guys say, but I want you to think about this. Now, you've heard people make the argument for the, you know, Earth, the heliocentric model. And they'll take Bible verses and say, well, this is evidence of the heliocentric model. And they'll point to Revelation 9, Revelation 11, Revelation 20. Uh, so, let's, so let's, since I'm adamant about Revelation 20, let's use this verse right here. And I saw an angel come down from heaven having the key of the bottomless pit and a chain in his hand. Now, perhaps you haven't, but I have heard... People say that the bottomless pit is the Earth's core, and the reason it's called the bottomless pit is because it's always moving. And so there's never a true bottom. It's moving real slow, but it's always moving. Well, now the Earth's inner core has stopped according to them so that blows away the idea that the earth's core is the bottomless pit destroys it utterly destroys it NASA destroyed it way to go NASA likely experiencing a big change in the earth's core yeah okay so this is not cataclysmic so everybody it's okay with we don't have to overreact, but the Earth's solid inner core rotation has slowed down, and likely it's starting to reverse course. I know that sounds like a sci-fi movie, yeah. but so the inner core is like a giant iron marble. Yeah, he got that right. Sounds like a sci-fi movie. He's got that right. Kind of floating inside the outer core, which is a sea of molten iron and nickel. And we can't really monitor exactly what's happening in the inner core because, well, it's so deep. But we believe this change happens once every 70 years. The researchers studied seismic wave activity since the 1960s, and that's led to the belief in the slowdown and the, the belief. Uh, we believe in the belief. That's imagination. It's a faith. It really is. Switch. Now, there's no reason to fear, as I said, not the end of the world. As not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. You hear that? It's not the end of the world. Isn't that interesting? You know, that question has been asked for a very long time. Well, perhaps not that long, but for a long time. And I'll always like to point to Matthew 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, 
disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And if you keep reading, there's no mention of the earth's core. Right? So he's right, it's not the end of the world. But, I mean, you could open up a bag of chips and say, look, it's not the end of the world. I mean, there's no relevance here to what the end of the world is. At best, this could lead to our days being shortened by just like a millisecond. Why the days being shortened? Isn't that interesting? I mean, it's, it's like they got their own Bible, isn't it? I mean, they're essentially preaching their own religion, the belief. The, they believe, they have belief, the end of the world, and now the days will be shortened. And isn't that, are you seeing that? And the movement of the magnetic north pole might shift just very, very slightly. You wouldn't even notice the difference if I hadn't told you. You wouldn't even <laughs> notice it. I mean, we could be lying to you and making this CRAP up. And you wouldn't even know it. Ha <laughs> ha! To do math, or you had to do math. Big marble inside is moving around. <laughs> Scott Withers always oh. with the latest information. <laughs> yeah. We're breaking the science down every single morning here at Morning Run. Breaking the science now. Breaking the BS down. That's it. Straight down to the Earth's center, it's around 3,000 kilometers through the mantle just to the outer core. But scientists at Peking University in China found that seismic waves from earthquakes showed the Earth's core rotating, but also slowing down, and that it stopped just over 10 years it ago. It stopped. Well, there, there goes your bottomless pit theory. All right, so that destroys the heliocentric model right there alone. Thank you appears to be picking up speed, rotating now in the other direction. So what could that mean for the magnetic forces in and around the Earth? There's a powerful but delicate balance among the magnetic forces of the Sun, the Earth, and our planet's inaccessible interior. A magnetic field protects us from the Sun's radiation. We see the interaction of the solar wind and our magnetic fields in the northern lights. It doesn't seem like a good idea to drill into the core of the Earth. What comes out? What are they well, trying to do? Well, here's the thing. We all think if you drill that deep, you're going to pop the Earth and we're suddenly going to deflate. But the fact <laughs> is... <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so that they're drilling in to the Earth. Let me see if I can find a verse here. Proverbs 25, verse 3. The heaven for height, the earth for depth, and the heart of kings is unsearchable. Huh? Think about it. Where they're going is the mantle, which is 85% of the earth. So the largest part of the earth we know nothing about. Oh, whoa, 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 What, do you hear that? I think if you drill that deep, you're going to pop the earth and we're suddenly going to be late. <laughs> but the fact is, where they're going is the mantle, which is 85% of the earth. So the Lord... No, oh, he's just making that up. Let me prove it. All right, so, uh, he's saying 85% of the... of the earth is um, blah 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 the measure thereof is longer than the earth and broader than sea da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. who has measured uh, thus saith the Lord if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, saith the Lord. So they, they're not, they're making all of this up. They're not basing this off of anything except their own imagination. The largest part of the earth we know nothing about. Yeah, we know Our nothing about. Time machine is He's right about new that. things about the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope is capable of looking back billions of years and it's seeing things... It can look back billions of years. Now, isn't that amazing? 
when you consider the fact that they're looking back in time before there was even stars, before there was even days, before there was a heaven, before there was an earth, they're looking back beyond I'm what millions or billions of years. How'd they figure that out? Only known time machine is revealing new things about the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope. Time machine. They got time machines that can look back in time. We know nothing you believe about. that? Our only known time machine. Our only known time machine. They got a time machine, folks. That's unbelievable. Just like Doc and uh, Doc Hollywood, or not Doc Hollywood, but uh, Back to the Future, right? It is revealing new things about the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope is capable of looking back billions of years and it's seeing things once thought impossible looking back before the earth was even the earth before there was the heaven was the heaven unbelievable ut researchers actually discovered the images all right from fox 35 mission control a new image from the james webb telescope take a look this is a molecular cloud it is so cold and so dark various it looks like somebody got an a in art class have frozen to grains of dust. This is more than 600 light years away from Earth. Scientists say the cloud offers the most comprehensive array of icy ingredients that can be used to make future generations of stars and planets. And the further it looks, the further back in time it sees. So the image we are seeing at this moment is not what the galaxy looks like now. It's what the galaxy looked like when that light left it. When you think about a galaxy, you probably think of the Milky Way. But there are more than one type of galaxy. One is more like a watermelon-shaped um, galaxies, and the other is like a frisbee. Bars are found in spiral galaxies. It's almost like a cylinder, and it stretches from the center of the galaxy to the outer parts. Galaxies like the Milky Way use the bars to form new stars. They help to solve the supply chain problem in galaxies, that, right? That's not... You could do that in your kitchen. You could do that in your toilet. I mean, that could be somebody's toilet we're looking at. They take the gas that's in the outer part of the galaxy, they bring it to the center. Dr. Jogi said they didn't expect Webb to see what it did. Not only did it see, show really clearly these barred galaxies at 20% of the age of the universe, but surprisingly these bars were also very well developed. The discovery reshapes what we know about galactic evolution. The fact that we have seen bars early in the universe means there's a new channel to form new stars very early on in the universe. And drill down into an area of the Earth where you get pristine samples that haven't seen light since the earliest days of the solar system. Wow. So as we mentioned, they first started this back in 61. They got down pretty far, but they stopped. They Why? Stopped. What happened? Well, a couple of things happened. First of all, they had some technical breakdowns, but also 1961 was the point that America began looking up at the moon not down at the core of the earth or at the mantle of the earth what are we hoping to find in this well, here's, material here's a couple of fascinating well things. it's fascinating that man hasn't been to the moon according to nasa in over 50 years all right think about that what happens when it's been 60 years nobody's been to the moon 70 years what about a hundred years when it's been a hundred years since man went to the moon aren't you going to start to get when will you start to get suspicious i'm just curious things first of all seismic scientists know that when you get below a certain level it's called the moho discontinuity a term i love it sounds like gibberish <laughs> well it sounds like gibberish because it is right <laughs> come on let's be honest Great term, exactly. <laughs> but it's where seismic waves speed up. And if you learn more about those seismic waves, you can learn more about earthquakes. You can also maybe find extreme life forms that deep down. Really? So what are the life forms they think? Well, you have life forms on Earth called extremophiles. They survive in extreme... Uh, extreme pedophiles? What, what is that? Environments down at hot vents, locked in desert rocks. Here, it's possible you will find forms of life that are that deep in the earth that live on methane. And the meth heads, that away, buddy. Meth heads. You got extreme pedophiles, you got meth heads. Living on methane is sort of a template for extraterrestrial. And you got ETs. There it is. Wow. That away. Meth heads. 
extreme pedophiles, ETs. Nice. That's just fantastic. Okay. All right. Tell me what you think.